You guys ready to work? All right, gentlemen, get out of here. I'll set it up. That's what four years of college and six months in the academy gets these days. We wouldn't have to put rookies on the case if you were in control of your own backyard. My name's Anthony. Friends call me Tony, which backwards is why not. Anyway, in the pecking order, I'm guessing that you're somewhere between the guy that goes out and buys the spray paint that you use for tagging and the guy who digs it out from under your boss's nails. You don't know who you're messing with. One word from me and my crew will have you a splatter. Your crew? Yes. Well, that's funny. I thought LVM was Miguel Sosa's crew. Interesting. Hey, boss. Right. I see. You were all trying to throw me off balance, soften me up for the big guns, eh? Actually, I didn't know you were still here. Come on, I'll drive you home. Door-to-door -door service. I could get used to this. What's the matter? You pissed because whatever game you tried to play didn't work? But you got a lot to learn about the streets, cabron. Loyalty means everything in our world. Without it, estás muerto. Thanks for the lift. Semper Fi. Her gums are turning yellow. Whatever it is, it's in her liver now. Fungal fit perfectly. We were wrong. We're gonna keep being wrong until we're right. Or till she dies. Yeah, that was very helpful. Need a team to tell me we're mortals. I've got enough to charge you with, Hector. We just want to know your side of the story. Not you to me. Oprah and Dr. Phil here. I told her this is how it was going to end. Only it was going to be me that died and her sitting here with dumb cops asking dumb questions. Why was a respectable girl like you with a thug like Hector Ramirez? Why was she? You wouldn't understand. Sure she would. All women understand the charm of a violent man. What we had was special. <laughs> you made her feel like a captured princess instead of a small town choir nerd. And she made you feel like a dashing pirate instead of what you are. Sort of a bad tempered pharmacist. Funny man. I say, those pirates back then, they were just banging like anybody else today. A pirate is exactly what I am. And she was a princess. She was. What happened that night? We were supposed to meet at 11.30 at the restaurant. I got there 10 minutes late and she hadn't come out yet. I waited for a few minutes and I left. I'm impatient. I was angry. I will always hate myself for that. I left her to be killed because I don't wait for nobody. That's a noble admission, Hector. How did you feel about the fact she was going to college in the fall? I was proud. And happy for her. She was leaving you behind. I wanted her to leave me behind. I wanted her far away. 
I told her, go to L.A. and don't come back for nothing. Your Honor, I'm making this opening statement because I want to talk to you from my heart. I had some dark days in my teens, but the Army got me together, and now I have a good job, and I know in my heart that I am ready to take care of Olivia now. Maybe Mr. Walker and Mr. Wandell have more money than I do, so maybe they can buy Olivia nice things that I can't, but the lifestyle they've chosen, that's not the values that I believe in, and not the values I want my sister to be raised with. It's wrong for two men to be raising a child. Uh, Your Honor, may I speak? Yes, Mr. Walker. I'm sure Your Honor is aware both state and federal statutes prevent the court from making any custody decision based on religion, ethnicity, or lifestyle. Mr. Walker, I can assure you I'm well aware of those statutes. Continue, Mr. Garcia. I was almost done, Your Honor. I just wanted to say that I'm hoping you'll read what the people in my life have to say about me and let my sister come home. Brian, right? Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Justin Walker. Come on in. Good to meet you, Justin. Nice to meet you, too. Nice house. Oh, thanks. So I, I heard you, uh, you did a tour in Afghanistan. Yeah, Liv told me you were there, too. I was. I was. Where is she? Oh, uh, she, she's upstairs. My, uh, my mom went to get her. Listen, I... I heard what you said to the judge, and, um, you know, who knows, if, if, if my brother weren't gay, maybe I'd feel the same way, but... I really don't want to talk about that. Okay, look, um, I know you haven't seen Olivia in a long time, but the truth is, when she came here, she was in pretty bad shape. So, I was wondering if she, you'd like to take her time and, and maybe see how happy she is and, and how great Kevin and Scotty are with her. I appreciate all of that. But I'm her brother, her blood. Of course, and you know, you're, you'll be in her life forever. Generous of you to say so. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that. This is about how I want my sister to be raised. I'm not the only person in the world who thinks what they're doing is wrong. So tell me something, would you be doing this if Kevin and Scotty weren't gay? I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I'll get Olivia. So whatever happened to Aunt Gloria? I don't know. We kind of lost touch a long time ago. Great. You found everything, but let me get this. This looks great. Thanks. Sure. Brian? Olivia, look. To him. He's your brother. You can ask him anything. If I were to live with you, I would still be able to visit Kevin and Scotty, right? I mean, I could still go over to their house and do my homework in the cafe. Couldn't I? Kevin and Scotty have been very nice foster parents. But you and I are going to be a family now. <laughs> 